Twitter suspends libs of TikTok while account owner vows legal action. Kaya Rachik, uh, the owner of the libs of TikTok account, had the account suspended on Wednesday. It was supposed to be a seven-day suspension, but Twitter basically bowed to the pressure of other organizations that reached out and, you know, said that it is just a, um, it is just a, an information site and nothing more. So they were back on doing their job when I looked yesterday afternoon. Now, the problem with the claim that nothing is being done wrong on that site has a very thin line of wrong because inciting violence and the disruption of medical care at hospitals is a very serious claim to to just ignore and i would hope that they would continue to be investigated and hopefully we will find that there will be some form of repercussion for not just the account but the account holder for inciting violence and the disruption of medical care at all of these hospitals that have been identified by this website by this twitter account the ceo of the babylon b which is a conservative christian satire site has joined with kaya Rechik and pretty much backs them up 100 percent on the babylon b um owner's twitter account he said, Twitter has once again hit libs of TikTok with a seven-day suspension for hateful conduct. No specific tweets were flagged. We've since fired off another letter to Twitter. They're on notice that we will sue them if they permanently suspend us. So, you know, there is an ongoing, you know, interweaving of these groups. You now have a Christian satire group page that is very conservative, leaning into alt-right um supporting a ultra conservative jewish website or tiktok uh twitter page and going to bat for one another to basically uh, allow them to attack and interrupt medical um, services at hospitals it's ridiculous that we have to point these things out because it should be obvious. But we have a society that just does not have any empathy whatsoever. Yeah. And, um, I just wish, you know, we were talking earlier about hate crimes and, you know, the importance of having higher penalties for committing them. Right. Um, to help deter them and, and show that this is not something that we, uh, that, that we take lightly. It is a bigger deal than a typical assault when it's motivated by hate and it's premeditated. And, you know, I, I don't feel like it's too, it's too strong of a, of a thread to be drawn between a hate group that incites and perpetuates the, this, these sorts of things. Um, to that, I know free speech and all of that, but there has to be some accountability to to some of these organizations that that spread these lies and and take action right. to get threats um, propagated upon hospitals and you know citizens of the country. Well, when we're talking about essential services, you know, a hospital is an essential service. Mm -hmm. They provide life saving, life sustaining care. And they also provide, you know, quality of life care in many cases. So when you disrupt that by, by spreading false information to a crowd that has already been identified as extremist and basically, you know, giving them a whistle to do whatever they will to interrupt the services of an essential provider, you are committing a crime. You are committing a crime because if you blocked a police car from responding to a crime, if you block a fire truck from responding to a 
fire, if you block an ambulance from responding to an emergency medical call, you can be found criminally negligent. This step should be taken to look at these sites that are intentionally inciting extremist activity, terroristic activity, and be pointed to and say, this stops here. But well, no, and I, I love the, I love what that triggers for me in thought in that uh, this person that's backing Kaya is saying, you know, we will sue. We'll sue. Right. It's it's time for the hospitals to sue Kaya. Yeah, exactly. And say, you know, for the, the the time that we are we are out of business, it, it costs us, you know, twenty thousand dollars a minute or whatever or an hour or whatever it costs to run their hospital. And we were out of. We, you know, for this hour, because of this bomb threat, we were unable to perform our duties. Yeah. So you're liable for that. There you go. 